Welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights 2 Sarmatees. This is Big Los. And we are inside Artorius's Praetorium because he's the prefect now. If we check the journal, it says that we have achieved a first mission. I guess that means we've completed one mission. We've got two more to do. For the divorce, it says you have gathered the necessary testimonies Artorius can, pr can pronounce the divorce announce the good news to Myrne, so that's probably going to be our next thing to do. We're going to go over to Myrne. I guess I'll meet you over there, so see you back in a couple of minutes for me and a few seconds for you. Alright, we're not quite to Myrne yet, but I did talk to the quartermaster and when I told him that Artorius was in jail, he said, Glad to see the little swan in jail. What about the divorce? And now we can tell him that Artorius Cassis has decided to pronounce the divorce. Great, the swan only gets what he deserves. I don't know anything else, okay. And I do want to buy some better weapons, but they are... Over 50,000 gold pieces, and we're only in possession of about 20,000 gold pieces. So we're going to have to get some more money somehow, some way. Now, I'm thinking that I could make some healer's kits based on all of these materials that we have. However, we are limited by the supply of chamomile, so... Apparently, we can only make two of them right now. So let's split this up. Put one here, one there. We get a bandage. Plus three. Put that in there. And we get another bandage. So we'll take it. Great. Oh, yeah, we could sell these gold necklaces. I almost what forgot I about those. For you? Alright, so we get another 1,000 and another 190 gold pieces. Queen of Meadows. I wonder why this never works. That's unfortunate. Oh, here's some more chamomiles. Oh, yeah. These empty bottles are always useful. Let's see. The Scroll of Alchemy. With these empty bottles, with chamomiles, we can make healing potions, which I might do, or we can make recovery potions with the Queen of Meadows. I think that's what I'm going to do. How many Queen of Me Meadows do we have? Oh, where did, where did our Queen of Meadows go? Oh, great. Are they gone? Well, we have one Mandragore. Mandragore? Had to lean in for that one. Anyways, it's a Mandrake, and with a potion bottle, we get a healing potion out of it. Let's get a couple more of these. I have to figure out what happened to my Queen of Meadows, because I do remember yes. pickpocketing What one. do you want? Aha, there's two of them. Great. Fall in. Alright, what else can we make with these? Well, we could make some antidotes with the lemon bombs. We got three of them. And with the roses that we have, we could make some eagle splendor. So I'm going to do that, and then I will meet you back in Myrne. And I really mean it this time, okay? So I'll see you in an, eh, maybe about... Five ten minutes for me and a couple seconds for you. All right, here we are back in Myrny's house. I made a whole bunch of potions here, notably some supreme recoveries, some heal potions. Well, actually, just one of those, and also a perfected alchemist fire. So we're gonna use that in battle sometime. And we were left with four materials for later. Don't just stand I there. Also Follow me. 
made some poison arrows. It turns out you can't put poison on arrows that are already enchanted for some weird reason. So I only had one bundle of non-enchanted arrows, so I made that into poison arrows. So, whenever she gets the chance, I'm a Jay, I mean, she will be equipping them. Yes. So let's talk to Mirni. Pleasure to see you. What has the Prefect of the Legion said? He could pronounce the divorce. I am here to inform you. Formidable. I didn't dare to expect it. A simple Briton facing a Roman citizen. Artorius Castus is a great man. You are lucky. How could you have been so silly to get hoodwinked by Alice Cluntius? Weren't you getting any? That's funny. Artorius couldn't leave you in such distress. Anyway, accept this necklace in appreciation. Thanks to you all. Tabad lib. Slanlit. And we get 500 XP for that, and we get some sort of amulet. Which is unidentified, so let's give it to Soslin. Yes. What can you tell us about it? Amulet of health. Nice. If I remember correctly, I think we already have one. Your command? Yeah. So what do you have right now? The Tonga of Emerald, which improves saving throws by four. Or we can have something that makes us immune to all these things. You know what? I'm just going to hold on to it for now. And if I see fit, I will equip it. But for right now, let's check the journal. After the Magic Pipe episode, Artorius cast is surely want to listen to another story later on. Yeah, but not right now. He's entrusted us with several missions in Britannia. The Picts, or Pictes, as it says here. I'm threatening to break through Hadrian's Wall again. You're expected urgently. Carry Artorius's message to the Sarmatian Contingent at Castrum Brematinacum. Okay, well, I think that will be our next mission. But before we do that, I think we will go pay Angus a visit and tell him that Myrne is single again. Yes. And since it's all, all the way over here on the other side, I will meet you inside there. All right, here we are inside the Gade Gale. Let's talk to Angus. Well, hello to you. Would you like to drink something? Alice Clintius has been arrested. I am relieved. What about Myrne or about the divorce? Artorius Castus has decided to pronounce the divorce. Fantastic. Do you believe that my clothes are proper to present my compliments to Myrne? Should I change? I wouldn't like to spend money for nothing. Consider it an investment. Would you like to drink something? Mm. Looks like you just say the same things again. No, we don't want to drink. What happens if we tell Ossian that she has got divorced. Greetings and well met. Hello, Sarmatian Knights. He's been arrested. Britons were defending Alice Clutius' hideout. Yeah, I think we talked about this last time. Idiots who have been bamboozled. Long story. Hmm. Okay. It looks like he doesn't say anything differently. So we're going to leave here, and then we're going to go deliver the message to Brema Tanakam. I think that's how it's pronounced. Not too sure. Oh, yeah. How about we tell Leith everything that's happened? Warm winds and hello. I have been told that Alice Clintius has been arrested. Thanks again. All right, so we will... I guess go over to Bremetanakum, which is on the other screen. Alright, we're back. We're on our way to Bremetanakum. On this map here, 
it would be this exit over here. So let's make our way there. And then it'll take us to, I'm guessing, another camp. All right, so looks like this is the 20th Valeria Victrix. Oh, Sarmatians, more of them. Hey, buddies. Hi, hello there. Talk to Centurion Vibius Manliness. <laughs> Manliness, Manlius. Hi, hello there. All right, I think we will. Do these guys say the same thing? Good on you. Absolutely. Hello. I say yes. Can you pickpocket? No, we rolled a one. I'm sick and tired of doing that. And we already have Inspire Competence on. Alright, you have nothing. This guy. Vivius Manlius. Let's talk Your to command. this guy. Actually, you know what? Yes? If someone what do you would want? have something, it would be that You'll guy. Follow me, so let's won't you? pick his pocket. Ah, oh, again? Another failure. Alright, it seems that we have no choice in the matter. We have to cast heroism on ourselves. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, and we rolled a 4. We needed to roll a 13 or better. That's what I get for not putting any ranks into that every time I gain a level. Nothing. Hello. I am Centurion Vibius Manlius. Legion 20th Valeria Victrix. What do you want? Oh, I have a message for you from Prefectus Legionus Lucius Sartorius Castus. The Prefectus of the 6th Victrix. Let's see. Hmm. Britain rebels might be gathering in a place of worship north of here. They are not dangerous yet, but might become. What does Artorius require? Do you call him Artorius? Are you that close to the Prefectus? Ah, uh, yes. The famous Artorius Castus's Sarmates. I don't know how he can bear you so close to him. Would you have something against the Sarmatians? Yet your garrison is mainly composed of Sarmatians. Sarmatians are fierce warriors. As fierce, as barbarian, as crazy as the Picts. But even more efficient. I am in charge of this garrison. It's a daily living hell. Brawls, benders. How many Britons have I been obliged to compensate because of their daughter, their wife, their niece, their cousin has been laid? However, I admit that nothing in the world would get me to go into action without them. You are exaggerating, Centurion. We are entitled to have some fun, aren't we? There is not even a single Sarmatian female warrior. Female warriors. That's the last thing I need. A garrison transformed into a lupinarium. Er, I wasn't talking about you. Your Sarmatian scout is right, Centurion. Young men need entertainment. What does Artorius' message say? The rebels are gathering at the cas Castle Rig Cromlech north of here. Cromlech? A circle of stones, a Celtic ritual place like Stonehenge, I'm guessing. Is it far from here? A couple of hours ride. Send a group of Sarmatian horsemen then. They will make a short work of the Britons. Not quite. Artorius Castus has written that we must proceed another way. The druid who has become the leader of the rebels might hold his legitimacy from a sacred object. A golden billhook. Artorius Castus wants you to get in there with your party and steal the billhook without killing anyone. Great. Without killing anyone? So the druid would lose his legitimacy and the Britons would accuse each other of the billhook's disappearance. The rebellion would be nipped in the bud. The Prefectus is convinced your party can do it. Do you know the place, Scout? Yes, someone very stealthy can indeed get close to the Cromlech without being spotted. There are some guards, likely. 
However, they are expecting an attack of the Sarmatian Heavy Cavalry, or by the Legion, which they would hear from afar. They would run away, bring in the billhook. A stealthy party may benefit from surprise. Hmm. However, the guards are too close to the golden billhook. We will have to eliminate them. The Prefectus has sent special ammunition for you. He said they will come from the river Ticha, or river what's its name? Tizza. Well, yes, Tizza. He said also that a Dame Satayaya Sayanada, or Dame, what's her name, knows of this kind of ammunition. Satanaya, Centurion. Arrows or bullets with a concentrated extract of yellow narcissus. It can neutralize a man for several hours. The violence of vomiting is so extreme that he collapses very fast. Besides, the plant has also a sleeping effect. Simacy knows how to operate this ammunition. Once in open air, the poison disappears within a couple of days. Good. The ammunition is in the chest behind me. Take them and inform me as soon as you are ready. Well, that's convenient, isn't it? Okay. Let's open up this chest and take it. So we have some special arrows, which do two negative energy and about six bullets for Soslin. We'll take them both. Okay, so take the special ammunition, then talk to Vibius Manlius to travel to the Cromlech and retrieve the Golden Billhook. All right, so we have to talk to this guy again. And we might as well rest so I can get my animal companion back, but I'm not going to summon him yet because last time I did that, and then I go another screen. He disappeared. What else is new, huh? Hello. Ready to go to the Cromlech? We are ready. Let's do it. Good. The scout will lead you. Once there, I'll stay behind and keep the horses. The stealthiest of you will try to steal the golden billhook. At uh, what time do you want to arrive at Casterly Cromlech? I do not advise full daylight, of course. In the dead of night, all Sarmatians are gray. Note, in French, gray, Greece means also tipsy. Hmm. I guess that means drunk. At dawn, they will be less awake. At dusk, I like the colors. No. Let's go in the dead of night. And then I will turn party AI mode off. Let's check this map out. Okay, so we have three enemies here in a circle of stones. Turn it off. Yes. Let's cast Stone skin, Spider Skin Flame Weapon. Novo. I'm not gonna summon my dinosaur. Oh wait, that is my dinosaur. Then where is Creonavitus? Where's your dinosaur then? Elemevokreni. Oh, all of a sudden. Yes. All right, let's unsummon this one then. This is the one I want. Yes. All right, you can put greater stone skin on yourself, and then stone skin everyone else. Talor Modias. Talor Modias. I should probably do awaken. Italor Modia. Level five. In order to get it, we're gonna have to rest. Let's do greater magic. Bang. We'll do bark skin, dragon tooth. 
A Pio Novo. Let's do spider skin. A Pio Novo. Spider skin for you. And I guess we could do some A Pio Novo. A Pio sure. Novo. And Apio plus Novo. weapon. Creo Novitus. A Pio Novo. Alright, are we almost done? Yeah. Creo Novitus. Your command. All right, so we got party air mode off, just in case they want to follow. Let's broadcast a message. Why is it not working? There it goes. Broadcast a command. Stand your ground. Hold here. All right, so let's go into stealth mode. So we have to get past some of these guys. I wonder if more will show up on this map. Yep, two more did, right in here. There's a Briton. There's another one. Hopefully we won't make too much noise. How about if we turn on search mode? Just in case there's any traps. Aha! There's the offering. And there's a bag over here. What just happened over here? A dire wolf. Why, why did you cast that? I am not sure, but looks like we're almost to the goal. Oh, they spotted me. Alright, here's a bunch of scrolls. We're gonna take them all and then we're gonna... We're gonna take this stuff. So we got 3,000 gold and the golden bill hook. I'm gonna turn off search mode and we're gonna we're gonna get out of here oh wait a minute stealth mode just came off well that sucks well we're gonna go back in there as soon as we can which is right now up oh, the druid is trying to chase us but we're not gonna we're not gonna let him he must have a really high spot. Nobody walks away. My steel will strike true. Obviously they can see me, even though I I'm in stealth mode. Oh, what happened? Alright, how about if I turn that off and then I run? Alright. Obviously this guy can see me. No matter what. This must have a really high spot. In the meantime... Oh wait. If I drink a potion now, my stealth mode's gonna turn off. I don't want that. Well, I don't know if they can see me or not. They're following me. What does the journal say? Well, it didn't say that, you know, we failed the mission or anything. How about if we have somebody go back to Bremen to Haha, Ha ha, success. All right. Well, that was kind of easy. We didn't kill them. Let's turn on party AI mode on. I will issue the command to attack nearest. Attack the enemy! 
And then we're gonna rest. So we didn't kill anybody, we kind of like disturbed them. Fall in. Let's see if it worked. Whoops. Hello. What do you want? We have brought back the golden bill hook. Great, have you killed anyone? We were very discreet. They haven't seen anything. Well, they kind of did, but we didn't kill anyone. Wonderful. Oh, I guess our prestige increased. I understand why Arturius Castus call you his Sarmatian Knights. The auxiliaries won't have to intervene. Inform Artorius Castus of the mission's complete success. Keep the bill hook. Better to take it away from here. Slandly at Centurion. Huh? Goodbye, Centurion. Britonic language. So how do we get out of here? Well, we're right by the exit somewhere. Maybe we're supposed to mount this horse or something. I don't see the exit anywhere around here. Maybe we're supposed to talk to this guy again. Hello. Um, no. Oh, wait a minute. There it is. Oh, it's because the rest of my party is clustered around there. That's why. All right. Back we go to Eberakim. And then we will go talk to Artorius. In the meantime, let's check out this golden bill hook. It gives an uh, increase to survival. I suppose we could have Soslin use that. In fact, why don't we just give it to him? Even though it's not better than the angry soul that he has. So, we'll just hold on to it for safekeeping. We'll look at these spells that we got later, too. Well met. Do you want to talk to me, Sarmatiz? We have retrieved the golden billhook. Britons didn't suspect anything. The first reports are that the rebel druids are squabbling over the billhook's disappearance. No danger of a rebellion anymore. Excellent job, Sarmatiz. Why haven't you mentioned the billhook earlier? The people of Eberakim haven't totally accepted Roma yet. It was preferable that you knew as little about it as possible. There's trust for you. Did you think we would cry it at the top of our voices? Anyway, the danger of a rebellion is over now. That's going to contribute to the situation's stabilization. And contribute to raise your prestige within the Legion. Let's accept that argument. Well, we still have to. We still have work to do in Britannia, Sarmatis. Indeed. You want to talk to me? Do we have a. Oh, we do have another. We do have another story that we can tell. But first, I think I heard a level up sound. And we do have some level ups to do. Time to get the papers out. And then. Afterwards, I guess we'll end the episode because it's already 30 minutes in. So we're at, looks like, level 13, so we're going to go to 14. Which is our fifth level of Rogue. It's been a while since we've taken those. We could have really used the extra stealth points then. Alright, so let's see here. We're gonna pick three into tumble. Okay, let's go down to tumble. Okay, one into hide, one to move silently. Yeah, we could have really used those extra points. One into spot. Wait a minute, how was Spot at 16 when it was supposed to be at 17? It says put 4 into use magic device. 
which leaves us with two. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put that extra one into spot. Just to bring it up to where it's supposed to be. And then it leaves us with one left, which we've been throwing into bluff, even though we haven't been using it. I guess diplomacy is what we should have been doing, but it's too late now. We've been investing in bluff, so hopefully some time in the future it will become useful. And then we get sneak attack plus 3d6, which I like. You know, how much I love sneak attacks. Next. Don't just stand Amage. there. Follow me. All right, where are you at in this stack? Right in the middle. So you're also going to be level 13, I trust. Oh, no, you're going to be 14. That's right. Which is Divine Champion. Okay, so level 14, we're going to put a point into Diplomacy. And then we have one point left over for, I guess, Lore. There we go. And that's it. And then we get a feat. So for 14, it says Blind Fight. Okay. So if we're blinded, we can still have a chance to hit. We can reroll a mischance one time. Invisible creatures get no bonus to combat. Okay. Well, you can have it then. Yes. And it's Mr. Soslin. You're going to be level 14... Unfortunately, we haven't any monk levels, so we can't get you Sacred Fist levels. I mean, I would have loved to be able to take this. But we need improved on our strikes, Stunning Fist, Combat Casting, which we would have only had with a monk level. And we can't get monk levels because we are neutral. Kind of sucks, I know, but I couldn't choose the alignment. That's that's just the way it goes for this game. So, Druid it will be. Alright, so level 14. I should have really wrote this on the... Uh, other page too. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just do what I have been doing this whole time. So concentration, listen, lore, spellcraft, spot. Listen, lore, spellcraft, spot. That's it. And then we get another wild shape. Yeah. What? All right, we can go closer to the builds with our last two characters with Atzimats and Satanaya, so we'll do Atzimats first. Let's level you up. So you're level 12, so you're going to be level 13. Okay, so level 13 here is an Eldridge Knight. Oh, wait a minute. We're going to be picking spells, huh? Let's cancel. I'm going to do that after I check out these spells that we got. Because I don't want to pick spells that we could otherwise scribe. Yes. What do you want? So, Satanaya, you're first. And since you're a drow, you're level 11, so you're going to be level 12, which is a red dragon disciple. And we're going to improve your strength. Okay. So next time we do that, you'll have a strength of 20. And for your skills, I know it's not a lot. Spellcraft and tumble, that's about it. And then that'll leave us with five extra ones. Spellcraft and tumble. Six. Uh-oh. We're only allowed five.
Well, whoever made this build, I don't think knew what they were doing. So we're going to have to dump another point into something. Which I think should be a huge magic device. According to this, at level 16, we're going to be dumping five points in a used magic device. Can't put a point into that. How about concentration? We haven't been putting any points into this thing. There we go. Now we're at five. So what's our tumble at? 15... Spellcrass at 15. Okay. Next. So we have a feat, and in it, here it says we're going to pick power attack for some reason. So we'll do that. Alright, so now we get the power attack mode down here. Fall in. Let's look at the inventory. So these are healing spells. Oh yeah, these are, this was a druid treasure chest. So most of these are going to be druid spells. So we'll give these to Mr. Soslin over here. Okay, I think this one is like call lightning or something. We'll give that to you. You. That's a moon bolt. You could probably use that. And that's another lightning. Yes, one. yes. Okay, Moonbolt is definitely only for druids, so to Sazen it goes, and Call Lightning is also a druid only spell, so to you it goes. And then we have Chain Lightning, which is a level 6 spell, so I guess we'll have Karsus hold on to it in the meantime, so you don't accidentally cast it. And I think we can level you up now. Okay, so let's try this again, Eldritch Knight. Alright, so your skill points are going to be for level 13, Concentration, Craft Alchemy, Armor, and Weapon. Craft Alchemy, Armor, Weapon. And spellcraft. And then it looks like some that we haven't been using. Spellcraft. So we stopped putting it in the lore, huh? Yeah, we haven't done lore in a while. So we have an extra point left over. I don't think we can assign anywhere. I guess we can we could put it here. Sure, why not? Couldn't hurt. And now we get to pick some spells. So I think we should pick the missile storm. What else should we pick? Well, we know who has stone skin, but he doesn't have the scribe scroll feet, so I should probably pick that next time for Soslin. So he can scribe some scrolls and then hand them off to Atzmatz. This spell is okay because it counts as some other spells. You prepare this one time, and then you can have at your disposal any of these ones right here. Alright, so let's do the Missile Storm. And then should we do Ice Storm or Wall of Fire? I know Soslin has those already. I don't think we have any good buffs here. No, I don't think so. Okay, we'll do Ice Storm because that's way better than Wall of Fire. 
All right, so we got some offensive spells. Let's put one of each into there. We have another level one spell that we have access to. Why don't we prepare Grease, because we can't get too many of those. They are just so useful. So we have level four spells. Yes. Let's see if any of these are level four. It's level three. We can actually give this to him. We don't need it. That is level six. That is level four. You can describe that. Orb of Fire is also level 4. You can describe that. Level 7, we're keeping that. Circle of Death is level 6. We're going to keep that. Remove Disease. He has no benefit from that. Alright. Yeah? Very well. What? Alright, so we're going to describe this thing. And we're going to describe that. Greater invisibility. All right, I think we're good now, and we are really running up on time. Yes. So I guess in the next episode we will go to Hadrian's Wall and deal with the picks. Will we be able to defeat them? Find out next time. This is Big Lose signing off. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time in Tango Windia.